Hi, I'm Greg Day, Chief Security Officer for Palo Alto Networks in uh, EMEA. Uh, part of uh, the remit, I think, of any CISO is to look forward in the future and think, you know, what is our environment going to look like in the next few years and how do we keep it safe? And certainly in the last six to 12 months, I've spent more and more time working with different organizations who are moving to uh, a DevOps model and agile IT. Some of them are going in six month cycles right down to I've seen some that are going through co-changes literally every 24, 48 hours. And it got me thinking. And, and here's the uh, challenge that I think maybe all of us need to start to think about. If we are gonna to move to this agile IT world where we put our code into different containers and those different containers interact and we're updating them on a daily or weekly cycle, it's inherent that we need to start to natively wrap the cybersecurity around those containers or have them in those containers. The challenge behind that becomes when I finish with that build or that version, um, it's discarded, and now I create a new container with a new build, the new version. So what does that mean to my cybersecurity? Well, the danger is that actually I could lose all of the intelligence about that session that I might later wanna come back to. If we think today, it typically takes somewhere between three to six to even longer sometimes to discover those breaches that we weren't able to prevent in real time. And so the challenging thought I uh, have been kind of noodling with is, how do we start to maintain those artifacts away from having that native security wrapped to that session? And for me, it starts to make me think of how we need to re-architect fundamentally our cybersecurity. We're gonna to have to have a layer that sits above that environment that is really the definition of what is it we wanna do and how do we do that application? How do we automate and manage all of that? The cybersecurity itself, I think is gonna become more and more nascent into those different containerized environments. It needs to be to really understand and natively function and integrate with them. But then we kind of have the layer that I think needs to sit underneath, which is we need to be able to extract away from those containers all of the security artifacts, both the things that we know right now are bad, but also the broader scope of information that we might want to come back to later on. And we need to be able to normalize that into one common point that should I need to come back, whether it's a week later, a month later, or a year later, I can still see and understand, A, what was in those different containers? What builds was I running? How did those different environments work together to understand the environment in which that issue happened? But more importantly, I've actually got the evidence from that session to actually understand what did happen so I can figure out how I ever stop it happening again in the future. So some food for thought for the future. I know the world we live in is very dynamic and it's very easy to get caught up into the day-to-day -day grind of responding to what's happening. But if we don't stop every so often and take a pause and look to the future, how do we ever keep pace with the change that's coming from the IT world and the business world that we need to help keep secure? Thank you.